appreciate everyone coming here today as I speak about the latest drama in the new IFB. I'm saddened today. Exactly yes. what situation are you speaking of right now? Does it matter? It's pretty much the same thing every time. Somebody said something someone else disagreed with, a video was made, everybody got involved, feelings are now hurt, now everybody's trying to figure out what side they're on. You know how this thing goes. It's pretty much the same thing every time. I'm doing this press conference right now though, and this does not apply to any specific situation, but really it will work for any situation from the past or in the future. So from now on when there's any drama in the new IFB and people want to know my opinion, I'm just going to refer them back to this press conference. So back to my statement. I'm saddened by the latest episode on the soap opera on the internet called As the New IFB Turns. Everyone is upset about the latest disagreement between individuals who don't go to the same church or even live in the same state. It was a twist that nobody saw coming, but it happened. The videos have been aired and no one intends to remove their videos from the internet. I can only hope that friendships can be restored and that both churches involved can move forward and do great things for God. I love all the individuals involved and while I tend to agree with one a little more than the other, the situation does not involve me or my church. And so I strongly believe that I will not be affected and that I will be able to go on serving the Lord as long as I do not get in the flesh and ruin my testimony by endlessly fighting with someone I don't know on a Facebook post or on YouTube comments. It is very difficult for me sometimes to mind my own business, but I believe with much prayer, I will succeed. My prayers and my love are with all the parties that are involved. Now at this time, I'll take questions. Pastor McMurtry. Yes. Thank you. I represent you live beers who have been saved less than five years, but already know more than pretty much any pastor. Do you think the individual called out in the latest incident is a reprobate? You know, I hate to say it, but I actually saw this question coming. This comes up quite a bit in things like this. so. I actually have a prepared response to that. And the answer is very simple. My answer to that comment is, or that question is this. You're an idiot. Well, well, do you even think they're saved? Get him out of here. Pastor yeah. Murphy. Yes. I represent the Facebook police who keep track of who likes to post of the individuals and the opposing sides of the latest drama. I was wondering if you would like a copy of the list I've compiled of who has been liking the different posts. Uh, you know what? I actually have a special filing cabinet where I'd like for you to place that. It's just right out the front door to the right in the parking lot. Just lift the lid of the dumpster and throw it in. I noticed that you did not like any of the memes against the latest individual who was publicly called out. I didn't like those memes because they weren't funny. And frankly, they weren't funny when used on the last 47 people that were called out. Pastor McMurtry. Yes. Thanks, Tom. I am Robert Tuttle with the Reason Files. You know what? You're fake news. You know, your blog is a disgrace. You should be ashamed of yourself. Get him out of here. Pastor McMurtry, I represent old IFBers who troll all the new IFB channels. Why does it seem that the new IFB is so full of drama and is always calling people out? This doesn't seem to happen in the old IFB. Listen, calling people out is nothing new and it's especially not new to the new IFB. The Apostle Paul called out the Apostle Peter. We see Paul and Barnabas parting ways. We're still talking about those incidents to this day. And it was very common for people to get called out in the old IFB. The difference was back then when it was usually done through an open letter maybe that only the pastors and churches saw, or you had to wait for the next edition of the Sword of the Lord to come out to find the next chapter. Now, thanks to social media, we can get hourly updates to any drama that's going on and every nut job lunatic in the world that just wants a little bit of attention can put a video out there offering their two cents, just basically adding fuel to the fire. So no, this is nothing new to the new IFB. It's always been going on and it always will. Pastor Murphy. Yes. I represent anonymous YouTubers that leave negative comments on every video. Has this latest incident made you hate the new IFB as much as we do yet? Let me be very clear here. I love pretty much every individual church represented in the new IFB and every pastor. 
I've been to many of these churches and they are all very normal, well-balanced churches, but here's what the new IFB is to me. It's a group of Baptists that are all connected by the internet. It is often very dysfunctional in many ways because you have literally thousands of people involved and most of these people don't even know each other. They don't live in the same states and hundreds of them don't even attend any of the churches. Yet at the same time, we're all kind of one group. There's also many pastors in this group. Now imagine if you would, if every new eye of beer was attending the same church. And in that one church, all of the pastors represented in the new IFB were pastoring that same church together. I think you know we would have a mess. We would have a mess that resembles the internet train wreck you see all the time on the new IFB, something that often resembles an insane asylum. Pastor Murchie. Yes. I represent rabid Facebook lynch mobs and we were wondering why you haven't joined our Facebook group. Is it because you are a compromiser or a heretic or possibly a reprobate yourself? Everyone in our Facebook groups thinks you are a bleeding heart for false prophets. Listen, I'm typically the kind of person that thinks the best about everybody. The way I figure it, we already have one accuser of the brethren and I don't think he needs my help. Well, we will be coming for you next. You see this? This is my worried face. Pastor McMurtry. Yes. I represent godly young ladies in the new IFB that aren't spiritual enough yet for single punks in the new IFB. I I'm wonder... sorry, but I'd love to answer your question. But if I permit you to speak, then I will be the next, ones, next one reprobated by the single punks in the new IFB. Uh, yes, Paul Atkins. Tampa, Texas. Okay. Hey. Thanks, Paul. Appreciate you always being there, always representing. Hope to get out there one of these days. You're awesome. Thank you. Pastor McMurtry. Yes. I represent new life fears that are too good for any church in their area. You still haven't picked a side in this situation. It is very important that we know where you stand. Listen, I am the same person that I was last week. The only people that need to know what I think about these situations are the members of my local church. And as far as my personal friends who are involved in this situation, uh, that is between me and them, and the rest of the world can die of curiosity for all I care. Now, this is all the time I have for questions right now. Thank you very much, and just a heads up, when the next plot twist takes place, in as the new IFB turns, I will not be doing a press conference. I will just be referring everyone back to this press conference. Thank you all again. And from now on, I would appreciate it if most of you groups represented here today, in the future, if you would leave me alone. Thank you.